Breaking news coming out of a new lockdown in a U.S. city. And in the last 24 hours, we're hearing that this is spreading across towns in that area. They're saying that this is an approved voluntary lockdown that is taking place. And this is happening after dark. And this is for an incurable mosquito-borne infection that they're saying is right now in the United States. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the latest coming out on this. Uh, and this is out in Massachusetts. So this is a Massachusetts. Now we're hearing several towns approving voluntary lockdowns to stop this from spreading from what is taking place here. Now, uh, this is going to be linked in the description below. This article came out yesterday. It has now been updated today. And this particular disease, just to clarify, this is not Mpox. This is not COVID-19. This is a new mosquito shared uh, virus. This is passed through mosquitoes. This is known as Eastern Equian Encephalitis Virus. Now it says, and this I'm reading directly from the CDC. This is linked in the description below. I'm gonna be sharing. Shalom, shalom Israel. Shalom. I'm gonna start by giving all glory and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai by Hashem, and I read the brothers from down to be Florida from the camp of crops in Babylon. Come on another quick hit to the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai. Blow into edify and feed the sheep. Double honor to the elders and apostles. Great millstone, teach you well. Peace and blessings to the brothers who are pushing this work in true sincerity. To the scattered bride, I'm the brother, I'm a one. Next to me, I have. I'm Tazawan. All right, and we want to go into all right, uh, this latest um, thing going into this article. All right, going into this guy speaking on this. Uh, it says U.S. city imposes new lockdowns now. Okay, and it had a, a situation tying into it where speaking um, in Massachusetts, okay, it says Massachusetts town approves volunteer lockdown after dark as fears of incurable mosquito-borne infection grow. So uh, you got the people of the town who are, you know, imposing these things to, you know, uh, bring forth a lockdown, man. And didn't Bill Gates come up with some GMO mosquitoes? Yep, yep. So who's, who's really at fault here? Mm -hmm. You know, who's really doing all the targeting here? Right. Which is good information, too, because um, you had it where, you know, you had to do Billy Gates, man, which is well known as uh, <laughs> Bill Gates. I call him Billy Gates. Yep. Okay. Uh, Billy Go. Billy Go, exactly, you know. Because he had, uh, you know, had these mosquitoes um, infected with things that, uh, or injected with things that he wanted to, uh, you know, spread more diseases, man. Mm -hmm. You know, which we right now we, what, 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 uh, what kind of uh, national concern are we dealing with right now? Uh, they had a new thing that came out with the mpox. You see, mm -hmm. and that is a trans, uh, you know, thing that, that that is continually being pushed. You know uh, 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 that that sickness, man, and how is that spreading through multiple different ways? And one of them they said is uh, part of airborne, okay. Which how does these things get spread through airborne? Through either being around amongst others, or through things that's causing that are uh, airborne, man. And mosquitoes are heavy over there. You got those um, Africans or heathens that eat these mosquitoes, man. Okay. Some I have watched a documentary on, and they 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 heavy into eating those type of uh, insects, man, or in, insects, okay, uh, to, to to pronounce that correctly, okay, forgive me, but uh, they eat those things like mosquitoes, and and, and, and they eat it on a normal day uh, daily basis, man, as a part of their dinner. So now you have it where these mosquitoes are being, uh, you know, everywhere, okay. And it's going to get heavier and heavier with more of these diseases that's going out. So how much more is the, the time now for these people to take this uh, in, into consideration and at, at advantage to shut it down with these lockdowns and all these diseases going out, man? Yeah, it seems like every time something comes up, uh, America's getting threatened with a lockdown. Right. And I just goes to show you that they're really just trying to lock your ass down, man. They're trying to lock everything down and have... Uh, um, control yeah you know, that's all it is they want more control over you and when they do that guess what they're gonna have troops kicking in your doors they want everybody inside their house at the same time so that when they kick in those doors nobody can be alerted before you know say you got a spouse at work or something you know and they get their door kicked in and they text you and say somebody just kicked in the door there's troops kicking in the door they don't want
want that to happen. They don't want everybody to be found out. They want everybody to be unaware. That's why the scripture talks to you about uh, the wrath of the Lord coming unaware, so coming in a, in a sudden, you right. know. <clears throat> hey, and that's why, uh, you know, and it, it's not a coincidence that the, all of this has started to be a thing now, all right, because um, you have it where these lockdowns, if, if it starts somewhere or starts in one area, it's going to eventually spread to other areas. Right. You see? And Esau can easily say and use these things as a, you know, a mosquito outbreak and it might cause this diseases and all this and tied in with impox to lead to what? More lockdowns or a or, or wide lockdown, man. You see? Yeah, you got an HIV pandemic going on too. That's breaking out and it's spreading out rapidly in different states. You know, talking about thousands of people coming down with it in one week. So how much more in, in, in general, you know? And this is and this is because what? That, you know, HIV thing was injected into what? You know, that uh Yabawaki. Yeah, that serpent's juice. Yeah. Yeah. Which shows you that Esau just coming in many uh the, you know, he coming with many directions, man. And deceptions. Right. And deceptions. But I got this precept, it's the book of Daniel, chapter seven. So I can bear with us, we you know, we in transit. Verse 25, and it says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, mm. and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Yep. And this is what uh, Esau is going to be doing in the midst of, uh, you know, stuff like this, man. He's going to try to seek to wear out brothers, you know, he's going to seek to try to wear out the saints because things like this, he knows is going to try to wear and tear on brothers. But we have you, how about Shemel Shai? You see? Yeah, he and, and the truth, he already wearing out brothers, man. Right. You know, brothers doing lessons and he taking them down. Right. Brothers redoing the lessons and you take them down again. Right. With, and then you got the food. Censoring brothers' lessons. You, you got the air. You, you know, the, he, the quality, the air is terrible. Yeah. The food that we eat is terrible. Okay, the clothing that we put on our back, the, 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 the things that is infused with the, the chemicals and toxins is terrible. You know? Yeah, the, 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 everything is terrible here, man. So what is he, he's using that to his advantage. Yeah, they're getting ready to make a move on us. I seen a post and it was a, a video of, um, you know, some higher ups going into how the, the Hebrew Israelites are becoming a global threat. Mm. He said the black Hebrew Israelites, so-called, are becoming a global threat. And, you know, I got to do a little bit more digging on it. Maybe we can drop a lesson on it. And I'm not sure how credible it is, but uh, it was a guy in the truth that's on Instagram. He posted it up. So I'll go look into it, you know, see more about it. But if that's the case, then that means they get ready to move on us, man. You know, that's what that's the next step after the beginning of sorrows. Right. You know, so I wouldn't doubt that, that that you know is true. Right. You know, it says, uh, and think to change times and laws. You need changing laws. Look, you know, you coming up with all these uh, fake illnesses is coming out, or whatever, and then he's changing the laws to make you uh, your life function around it function around an illusionary disease, you know, this, this devil, uh, he, he, he masters in sorcery, incantations, you know, right. he, master, he masters in uh, deception, and, uh, you know, deceit, that's his sword, man, that's part of his sword, is, is his deception, you know, he came with pushing his, to, his, his religion, okay, which these devils are now talking about a one world order, one world government, you know, which is going to lead to a one world religion. You know, one world government means everybody in the same body, in the same mind. Mm. So that means you're going to be on the same uh, uh, payment, uh, form of currency, the same religion, okay, the same belief system, everything, man. Right. You know, that's what this devil's moving towards. That's why you got all these diseases coming out, impox, you know, HIV, all this stuff coming out now. And they're trying to force you into a lockdown because that's where they're really going to get it started at, man. That's really where they're going to kick shit off. Right. You know, so you keep seeing rumors and news about lockdowns, lockdowns, lockdowns. That's their plan, man. Yep. And then he's gonna take take uh, full advantage of that. You know, like I said, it starts in one little area, and then it starts to spread. Yeah, he's trying to bring back those draconian laws. Right. And that's the part of his NWO. And, and, and when the scriptures uh, speaks on when it says he changes times and laws, the scriptures also speak on. Uh, uh, he, you know those decrees. Yeah, unrighteous, unrighteous decrees. decrees. 
day, you know. Six these, foot distancing. You right. can't you can't come to work if you ain't got the the Yabba walkie. Right, and all these these are all things that he have he have a uh, you know uh, prescribed, man. Yeah. So this is all the works of Esau Edom, man. This is what he done wrote down and you know pen and paper, man, mm -hmm. and forced it in, in, in society. Okay, it says. Uh, and they shall be given into his hand until time, uh, until a time in times. And then they say it's not mandatory, but then they tell you that uh, your job can't. You're, they tell you the the people that own your job that they can't function the job, but they can't allow people in that ain't got this the, the thingamajig, man. It's surplus juice. They won't get funded anymore because you ain't pushing the the thingamajig, you know, the serpent juice. Okay. So they say it's not, it's not mandatory, but then if you can't live without it, you can't go and get your food, you can't go to work without it, then it, it really is mandatory. Right. That's a part of his sorcery. He do shit like that, man. Right. He put he pretty much putting you in a predicament of, you know, Got with things. That, yeah, right. When you, when you're in a predicament of a difficult uh, yeah. decision making, you know, and yeah. that's what he'll do. You know, he, he he wanted you to be like, oh, you can't uh, you can't do these things without this, but tell you, but you can still do what you want, but you can't do it here. Mm -hmm. You know, knowing that the people are gonna need, you know, to move around, but that's how Esau exactly, works. Yeah. You know, but uh, it says in the dividing of time. Mm -hmm. So you know, this is uh the wicked methods that Esau come with, man. You know. You have different ways of him bringing different type of uh, deceptions, as the brother mentioned, man. You got uh, Satan's devices. Yeah, I got the right sure. Because this devil, and this devil's coming out with certain plans, and he's, he's thinking upon these things upon his bed. Yeah. You know, and you wake up in the morning and you practice it. You know, he puts it into play because it's in the power of his hands to do so. You got this devil got the whole, you know how you ever just be laying down in the bed and you say, tomorrow I'm cutting the grass. This devil said, tomorrow I'm going to cut a whole city's population, mm. you know, and he go to sleep and he wake up and he accomplishes it mm. because the world is in his hands right now. You know, the scriptures talk about how the, the earth is given into the hand of the Lord and he giveth it to whomsoever he will. He setteth up over it whomsoever he will, even the basest of men. And that's Esau Edom. He's the basest of men, you know, right? This devil, yo, tomorrow we're going to put him on lockdown, tell him it's the disease out right now. Watch The Simpsons. They, they show you that in The Simpsons. These fuckers sitting at a table talking about how they're going to uh, uh, lower the population, man. Mm -hmm. Anybody got an idea? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What about a, a, a pathogen? What about a pandemic? And they, they opened up a they opened up a suitcase and somebody came over and, and it, they, they got a sniff of it in their face. It was like an airborne disease or some shit. And then you just collapsed dead on the floor. Right. You know? So they, they show you on these shows and in these movies what they really do. These devils are, uh, uh, how do you say it? They're like uh, cavemen. Mm -hmm. So they don't really like, uh, they don't move in silence. They show you what they about to do because they, they don't know what else to do. That's why they don't got that seasoning, that salt. They got a, Esau's a plain man, you know? He can't really hide anything. He can't hide his hatred. He can't hide his plans. It's all out in front of you in public for you to see. It, you know? it, it kind of um, kind of reminds me, all right, how, you know, when, you know, you have a, a group of gorillas, man. Yeah. And the, and, the, and yeah, you know, in the, in the goddamn jungle, and they start beating on their chest, you know, and, mm -hmm. and they start, ooh, 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 you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they, they're pretty much making it known, like yeah. you know, who's the biggest, baddest one in there, man. Yeah, it's like a dog. Yeah. Shit right there in your floor, in the middle of your floor, mm -hmm. and then act like you didn't do it, and the only dog in the house, you know, go hide in the cage and and, and hiding from you and acting scared. But, you saw shit right on your floor and, and sit right in your face and smile. Exactly. <laughs> and you know you did it. Mm -hmm. you know? I got that precept up. God. This is uh, 2 Corinthians <clears throat> chapter 2, verse 11. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah. And then we ain't ignorant of Satan's plans. You got the prophets here blowing a trumpet. Trumpet. You know? The only only way you can possibly be ignorant is if you don't want to if you don't want to hear it if you want to be ignorant. The scripture say he that be ignorant let him be ignorant. All right. You know, let him be ignorant still, still yeah. because what you niggas ain't gonna want to get it. You don't want to hear it. They say what uh, what's that saying? Ignorance is bliss. So the people that are ignorant to the truth they're more happier. Why? Because 
They acting like shit ain't really happening for real. They live in the La La Land. Candy Land. Right. You know? Yo, that's the spirit because I was just speaking. I was just saying that earlier. That's crazy. Yeah. And then this devil dropped his plans. The prophets blow the trumpet and say, hey, the devil's planning to kill y'all. Get ready. The devil's planning to lock y'all down. Get ready. Nobody want to listen to the prophets. But when it should happen, now they, then they want to come out. Oh, we're sorry, conspiracy theorists. You notice you don't hear nothing about conspiracy theorists no more. Because everybody's a conspiracy theorist now. Everybody doesn't trust the government no more. I mean, after what they just pulled, right. you know. And they about to pull some, um, you know, uh, way worse than what they did before. Yep. That was the, 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 that first one they did, you know, that was a that test, was a test run. run, yeah. You know, now what they about to do is... Prelims, the preliminaries. <laughs> right, now what they about to do, they really about to pull it, you know, the strings out the back, man. The elims, the eliminaries. They, 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 that's when, this one you're really about to start getting eliminated. Mm -hmm. You know, because now you're seeing people drop left and right, you know, people coming down with all sorts of diseases, okay, and they don't even understand how they got it. That's how you know we in some... Hey, that Isaiah front one, a lot of Mormons gonna get turned down probably because they got certain diseases. Right. Probably because they got fucking cancer boils, mm. you know, a lot of these women are gonna get rejected because they got that shit, man. Right. <laughs> and you you just can't. You there's no possible way that you can touch them, not because you don't want to touch them. You know it's gonna be that's gonna play a major power too, but also you're not gonna be able to. The Lord gonna put a certain mark, certain things on these women that's gonna not that's gonna make you not want to touch their ass, man. Mm. Imagine a woman coming up to you like a fucking zombie. You ain't nobody gonna take you. You're a fucking zombie, man. Right. You're gonna be afraid. Hey, damn, if I touch her, I'm gonna be a zombie. Get your ass away from me. Get away from me. Please. Right. Hey. <laughs> you know the zombies we talking? Yeah. And it, there's so many diseases coming out. So many diseases that they actually put in that thing that people got flowing through their blood to a point where. At this moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To a point where uh, unveed semen is gold. That's pretty much gold, you yeah. know? Yep. You go on, um, I seen a post where. Um, it was a there was like a woman on a dating site. She was like looking. She put in her bio. She said looking for men with that's that's not veed up, you know, mm. unveed sperm. Looking for unveed sperm because those are quality men now. You right. know, everything else is just fucking monsters. Walking bags of diseases. Oh, you got anything else? Oh, uh, con. That was, I, I, let me read that back again. Verse two. Verse. Uh, it says uh, Second Corinthians chapter chapter two. Verse 11, let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. You know, like the brother was saying, man, you know, in that time, you know, even as it's going to be, you know, people who don't have it, you know, in that time where it's going to be precious, um, you know, for for those, you know, resources, man. And really what's going to be the, you know, precious thing is this wisdom and understanding knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And right now, we can see, man, you know, brothers, we're not ignorant of what this devil was doing, man. Okay, through the spirit and prayer about Shemel Shah, we were able to see these things, starting with the elders and apostles and down, man. You see? So, through the spirit, we, we you know, we see Esau, you know, moving in. And he's shaky right now, man. All right? He, yeah. he, he's, he's, he's not moving right, you know? It's like a, a drug addict that, 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 that's having withdrawals. Okay? He, he's, he's, he's not moving the proper way. He's making mistakes. He's, he's slipping and fumbling. Yeah. You know, and eventually he 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 he'll, he gonna going to act out, man. Okay, but leads to say, you know, these things are already being seen in progress, man. That's like a boxer when he loses his stamina. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the the more stamina you lose in boxing, the more you start to slip up. Right, you the start worse to he take get. the wrong step. Yep, start to take the wrong steps. Throw the uh, slow punch. Throw the wrong punch. Mm -hmm. uh, you ain't be your reaction time slows down, and that's Esau right now. Right. He's being worn out. You know, just as he's wearing out the saints, the saints are also wearing him out. Right. You know, and how is going to come hey. up and bring him to that complete end. That's how he getting worn out through mm -hmm. being probably about Shemel Shah. Lord, literally worn him out, you know? Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. He lured him out, like, you know, and then wearing him out. <laughs> ah, yeah. You know? Uh, but that wasn't on that, you know? Uh, really, that was the point, all right, going into these things, man, because you have it, you know, it says in uh, Massachusetts, where town uh, approves a voluntary lockdown, okay, mm -hmm. so they, they're looking for these things, and they're opposing these things, they want these lockdowns, they want these, you know, situations to happen, yeah. all right, due to, uh, you know, what's really going on. And the people going to believe it as long as they see it on TV. Exactly. Or on the news, or in the media, and you got Trump telling you that it's fake news. Mm -hmm. Even Trump said that they fucking Trump came out and said that they're uh, staging another fake 
uh, you know, uh, inbox mm -hmm. so that they can thwart the elections. Right. You know, and right. fuck up the whole election. You, who knows what's going to happen in the next few months? They they even said it. They said a uh, series of shock events before the elections. That's in two months, man. Right. So what's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen the day after? What's going to happen next week? Who knows? We might all be out of work. We might all be on lockdown. We might just get tossed into Jacob's trouble immediately mm. out of nowhere. You know, this shit can go from zero to 100 real quick with how Esau uh, does things, man. You know, who knows what he's got planned? You know, you've seen that movie Civil War. That shows you what that showed you a lot, man. That's right. I got, I got one more. Then we can close it up. Time. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, known as Sirach, chapter 5. Uh, jumping down to verse 15, it says, Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. So just seeing that, even though this might be of a situation where um, it don't, it is, it's not on a, a major mass scale, you know, scripture still say not to be ignorant of these things, man, because this can turn, this small thing or, you know, this situation can turn to some major, man. Yeah. And it can lead to where it could be, have to uh, lead to a lockdown or, uh, they use these things as mosquitoes or whatever the case might be, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. But as we, you know, bring it out, you know, um, as we fight and as we continue, this is what Esau is going to continue to do uh, to, to uh, furthermore push his agenda. Yeah. And it might be a small matter to you because it's in a city, in just one city, mm -hmm. and it's not your city. But who knows? It can become a great matter and it can become your city. It can become the whole country. Right. A small matter can become a great matter, and a great matter can become a greater matter. Mm -hmm. You know, but you want to be ignorant of the small things. Oh, it's just a few mosquitoes in one city. I'm not even over there. I'm on the other side of America. But the next day, the next week, it can be in your city. Right. Exactly. Your city can be on lockdown. You know, now it's a great matter. But because you're ignorant of the small matter, you couldn't take precautions to avoid the great matter. Mm-hmm. So hey, you know, there you have it. Okay. Uh, I think that was it. Gone. Hey, so we truly hope this lesson was edifying to you. I came out while listening to truth with sincerity. Mm -hmm. Until next time, we give all glory, honor, praises unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakadash. Shalom. Shalom.